Hello, Red Devil. If you are looking for news and updates about Manchester United, subscribe to the Red Devil channel. Here you will find everything you need to know about United, from the latest signings and transfer market news to the latest games and results. Let's get to the news. The Chief Executive Officer of Manchester United, Richard Arnold, revealed in a recent meeting with all employees that the strategic review regarding the club's future is still ongoing. He emphasized the importance of remaining steadfast and resilient during this period. Last year, the club's owners, the Glazer family, announced the exploration of strategic alternatives for the club, including investment, sale, or other transactions. They hired Rain Group as a financial advisor to attract potential investors, leading to significant proposals from the 9-2 Foundation, Sheikh Jassim of Qatar, and Sir Jim Ratcliffe's Ineos Company. However, so far, the club has not communicated any progress in the discussions or a decision regarding the sale. Recently, the club faced controversies related to the reintegration of Mason Greenwood, who was ultimately loaned to Hetafe after negative reactions. The meeting with the employees allowed for clarifications on this matter and also addressed the case of Anthony, who is under police investigation. Arnold responded to employee questions and acknowledged that the strategic review process has been time-consuming emphasizing the importance of certainty. He assured that the club has sufficient funds to cover its current expenses. While he did not reveal the owner's preferences regarding acquisition or investment, Arnold highlighted that negotiations involving large sums of money take time to be properly concluded. He emphasized the need for a correct long-term capital structure for the club's future ambitions, possibly related to improvements at Old Trafford Stadium. Arnold also encouraged employees to continue their normal operations even if the review does not result in a change of ownership. He answered direct questions about the club's performance compared to Manchester City, stating that United is chasing their rivals and that changes take time. Regarding injuries in the squad, Arnold mentioned promising options from the club's academy and advocated for research into the causes of injuries, stating that many result from collisions rather than training issues. In summary, the meeting demonstrated Arnold's willingness to listen and interact with the team amid uncertainty about the club's future. Manchester United continues to face significant challenges, both on the sporting field and in strategic and financial aspects. CEO Richard Arnold emphasized that the strategic review is ongoing, but uncertainty persists. The lack of communication about the progress of discussions has raised concerns among fans and the team. Arnold also addressed the club's financial situation, acknowledging the substantial debt that United carries. He assured that the club has sufficient resources to cover its current expenses, but the resolution of the strategic review is crucial in defining the way forward. The comparison with the success of Manchester City was mentioned, and Arnold stressed that United is striving to catch up with their rivals, although he recognizes that City has set a high standard in Europe. Regarding injuries in the squad, Arnold highlighted the progress of young talents from the academy and emphasized that the club is investigating the causes of injuries to improve physical conditioning and prevent future issues. In summary, the meeting with Manchester United employees was an opportunity for clarification and dialogue on crucial issues affecting the club. While Arnold's responses may not have resolved all concerns, they demonstrated the club's willingness to address these challenges transparently and with commitment. The future of Manchester United remains a subject of speculation, but discussions are ongoing, and the club is working to define a strategy that aligns with its future ambitions. Leave your comments, because we at the Red Devil channel would be very happy to hear from you what you think about our content.